name's Jen. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a pineapple. First, you can twist this branchy bit at the top off. Now we slice the bottom all the way off and the same with the top. It, you should see these little these little marks here. That's okay. Keep those on. If you slice it too thickly, you'll take off too much of the flesh. So now I've got all the skin off, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to cut these little marks off, and. Just make sure you've got a small sharp knife, cut a little wedge, little V shape, and it should be just enough to get that little spike out there. I'm going to follow through with that same diagonal line and coming up. I follow that diagonal line all the way around. little V shapes out. Not taking much of the flesh out, just getting those little spikes out all the way around. I'm going to follow the next line up from that. It's only a little V. see those really beautiful diagonal little V cuts that I've made all around the pineapple. Now we can slice it. So there you have it. Pineapple, simple, sweet, Yummy sliced pineapple. Last week my son asked me, Mum, why do we pray before a meal? Where does it come from? I was reading this week's portion from Deuteronomy and it was very interesting. It says, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7, For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with streams, springs and water welling up from the depths in valleys and on hillsides. It's a land of wheat, of barley, grapevines, fig trees and pomegranates, and of olive oil and honey. A land where you will eat food in abundance and lack nothing in it. So you will eat and be satisfied, and you will bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. And that's actually where praying before our meal has come from. In John 6 verse 11, it says, Jesus then took the bread and gave thanks to God and distributed it to, to the people. So whether you're eating pomegranates and figs, barley, wheat, mandarins, whatever's in season in your neighborhood, why don't you join me in remembering to give thanks for what he has given you? <laughs> 